everybody. Welcome to another video about the 67 Stang uh, back here. So I uh, was on vacation last week, so we didn't have a video uh, then. But y'all may remember that in the last video, we actually got this old girl running again with the new wire harness. So that was an exciting first step in getting the whole wire harness wrapped up. We're pretty close to finishing it. Uh, a couple things I know I've got to do with that. Still got to run the new wire harness for the steering column, which means I got to pull the steering wheel off and do that. Uh, and then <clears throat> I've got to get the heater box installed and the wiring for the blower motor and the resistor for that done. Um, and then of course I got to get the instrument cluster back in there. Also don't, the lights are not working yet and I don't know if that's because the switch isn't properly grounded because the, the switch has a metal part to it that connects to or touches the um, metal dash parts in the car. So that might be it. I don't know if it's something else, uh, but I've got to track that down too. But I'm not going to worry about all that today. Uh, what I want to do today, uh, a couple things. I want to clean up a couple of the wheels on the car. So I've got over here, you can't see it, it's off camera, but the spare tire. Uh, wheel there and <clears throat> then I've got this wheel right here you can see a couple weeks ago this tire blew out and it just completely blew I was in my office working on another video and heard a loud boom um, wasn't sure what it was came out here and saw this tires blew, uh, blown these are used tires I put on to replace the dryer rotted ones that were on here when we first got the car started so I don't want to go buy new tires because I do plan eventually to replace the wheels on here. I'm thinking about the was it Magnum 400s. Um, <clears throat> they have a very nice uh, vintage look. I think they would go well. It would also take this from a 14 inch tire to a 15 inch tire, which I think would be, uh, make the car drive a lot better as well. So, and I want to keep the four lugs um, just because that's part of the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for, the, the specialness of these six-cylinder cars. Like I said, I intend to keep this as a six-cylinder car. Uh, don't intend to go to a V8 or anything like that. And I just kind of like the four lugs. I know it's not as sporty and fancy and doesn't give as much strength, whatever, whatever. Right? I like it. It's the way it came to my car. That's what I'm going to do with it. Um, so I'm going to be cleaning those up. Uh, wire wheeling them down, uh, putting some rust converter on there, and then eventually coming back with some um, paint uh, to get those. And then I'm going to replace both the tires. The spare tire holds air, sort of, for a day or two, and then it goes flat. Uh, but it's one of the original tires uh, that were on it when I got started. Not original with the car, but it had been in there for over 20 years. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. I also am going to replace the uh, antenna back here. I've got a brand new uh, radio antenna that I'm going to run. So it's easier to get that wire out with, this, with the um, uh, heater box out. So I'm going to run and do that. And then some other little things because honestly, I'm tired of dealing with wiring right now. So that also want to give a shout out to Joe Daddy's Garage. Um, he's one of the channels I subscribe to uh, and have learned a lot from him and he's a fellow Georgian uh, here. So he just reached 40,000 subscribers. So congratulations, uh, Barry, on getting your channel up to that level. Maybe one day I'll get there. Um, but anyway, he had a little giveaway uh, raffle and I got lucky enough to win. So I got a nice sticker. Not sure where I'm going to put it just yet. And then this neat little Hot Wheels convertible Mustang, um, which is actually kind of neat because I had a 66 Mustang. It wasn't a convertible, but it was basically this powder blue color. At one point, it was the time I owned three Mustangs. I had this one, I had a 66 blue one that was a uh, coupe, and I had a 68, which was the same color as this one, but it had the 289. In it so but that was back a long time ago when I had all three cars like that so now I just have the, the two the 2016 that was my wife and this one which is good so 
Anyway, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on, uh, go ahead and get started on the wheels first, I think. Gotta pull this wheel off. I already have the car up on the jack stand, so that should make it easier. <clears throat> and then we'll uh, get to, to clean them, so. Whoops, I turned my back to you. Sorry, let me get started on all that now. Uh, know what size this is many times I've taken it. You know what? Why not use the actual lug wrench that came with the car? For those that have never changed a tire, or they get torqued on, this standing on the wrench is something I've learned. I'm sure many of y'all know this. used to come with full-size spares. They didn't come with just compressors or those little bitty donuts. Let's see if this is going to come off. Ah, yeah. Okay, so I got both of those off. Now, kind of wild. This is, so I just want to reminisce for a second. Here, so let me make sure you can see this because I'm not sure I have the camera set this low. Uh, maybe. You know, a little lower and down. There we go. Okay, so just a little reminiscing here as I get back down here. Y'all remember the first set of startup videos? This was the one that had all the cobwebs, the spider eggs in it, and all of that kind of stuff here. Um, that we had so much trouble getting the drums off and, and all that. Of course, the pasture side was hard too. But look at how much cleaner this is, right? We've got new um, lower and, or lower, down here, lower and upper control arms, all new ball joints on there, new springs, new shocks, um, new spring seats, um, everything, new brake lines in there, um, uh, new tie rods, everything down in here is all, well, not all new. I kept the original, well, not the original, the, the drums that had been on here for a while, but. God, it's so much nicer up under here. 
And this will also have give me a chance to get up, maybe clean up in here some that I didn't do when I first got it running. So, you know, I'll probably do some cleanup up under here as well. But I'm amazed at still how good and strong that all is under there. So, anyway, uh, starting the wheels here first, get them going, and then maybe work up under here on cleaning some of this out. So, we'll go ahead and shift to the wheels. Gotta go get my tools first, though. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, dump some of those leaves out for my spare tire. Huh. Yeah, I, I was working on the wiring in the truck. I moved this over to the side of the house. And I got a bunch of leaves in the crack in it. Okay, so the tools I'm going to use. Go with a wire brush. Some uh, steel wool. And then so a scotch bright pen. So I am gonna wear, I don't often wear protective gear like I should, I admit it. Please do not follow my example. But for this, <laughs> I already have a <coughs> pardon me, a cough going with some allergies uh, right now. I don't get that worse, so I'm gonna put on my mask. I've got my uh, earmuffs for hearing protection. So Get this all put on and then we'll get started. Still get my new glasses too. So, yeah. Put this on. Because these tires are shot, I don't like to worry too much about what happens to them. Now look at all that dust. Check it out. Well, it seems to be just basic stuff is for us and dirt. Then look too bad. Okay, guys, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and, whoops, hold on. Take this off. I'm not going to sit here and make y'all watch me clean these up, but I'll uh, show you the results, at least once I get all the rust cleaned off of it and uh, hit it with that rust converter. Hit most of the rust when I hit rust converter. And you may be saying, why in the world am I doing this effort if I'm just going to replace the wheels? Because... Um, well, two things. As I said in the previous video, I like to clean it. Uh, this is going to end up on the car for a little while longer, and I don't want to put dirty stuff back on my car. Um, and, and two, you know, um, I don't know when I'll be able to get those wheels that I want. A lot of other things I need to do with the car first, so these may end up being in the car for a while. So I want to uh, keep them you know, in good shape, right? And then, who knows, like I said, maybe I'll 
do something, sell them to somebody else, or gift them to I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to keep on cleaning, and I'll show you the results when we're done. Okay. Okay, so I've got the tires cleaned up. The, the spare tire is over drying off still. This is the tire that was on the front left side that we pulled off. Uh, so I've spent a good bit of time cleaning up uh, the tire. So I've used my drill and this and steel wool and I've got a wire brush I used and the uh, scotch brite pad. I also came in um, and used an SOS pad on it uh, to help get some of the grease and stuff. Also came back with some degreaser. Just try to get it cleaned up as much as I can. It doesn't, I, I'm not shooting for perfection on this at all. Well, hello, Sokos. This is our kitty, Sokos. Come here, Sokos. Sokos. Come here. So, he's our indoor outdoor kitty. So, he, his mommy was a feral cat down at my mother in law's. And, He's the only one of the, the group that is still alive as far as we know. Anyway, he's going to visit around. He probably wants inside for food, but I'll do this. Okay, so I've got this most, mostly cleaned up. What I'm going to end up spraying this with is this VHT rust converter um, here. This was actually recommended to me by Jeff Ford over at Auto Resto Mod, another YouTube channel. And uh, <clears throat> so I've used it all over the car. Anywhere I've got surface rust, I've gone in and sprayed with this. Um, and it does, it seems to do you know, a pretty good job. It, it turns black and, and whatnot. So um, it's pretty easy to use. You know, prepare surface by removing it was paint, dirt, rust grease, wax, and etc. cetera. Um, removed any, uh, remove as much rust and scale as possible using 50 grit sandpaper or a wire brush. I use the wire brush, not sandpaper. Um, wash with mild soapy water, which I did, um, and dry with a clean cloth, which I also did, and also let air dry some. So I would typically, if this was a good tire, I would mask it off and the stem and all that stuff because um, I wouldn't want those to get damaged, but this tire is shot, as you can see over here, so I'm not gonna care. Um, so I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna go get my mask really quick because the fumes off this can be pretty bad. <coughs> and I already have this cough issue, which I swear is allergies. When I was down at the beach, it went away. Come back home, it comes back. It's no fun. Um, so let me go ahead and get my mask on and we'll go ahead and spray this. Oh, one thing, I don't know if y'all can see this. Turn this up here, maybe. Right there is the uh, Ford mark, the Ford stamp. So this shows that this is indeed a Ford wheel. So hopefully that lends credence to the fact that I said these were all the original wheels on this car. It's okay. Grab my mask, which is right over here. Put it on, and we will spray. Okay. And you probably hear the kids next one. That's the fun of shooting outside in your garage. Okay, let's shake it up. And we'll just So this stuff chemically reacts to the oxidized metal, meaning the rust, and stops it, turns it into inert material. And as it reacts, it will turn it black. And that will form a 
paintable surface or a prime ready surface. Maybe I'm probably putting way too much, but that's that's one side. Flip it over and get the back side. This is by far the worst. Or surface rust goes. Now, you know, if you had an opportunity to media blast these, you wouldn't necessarily have to do this. But these won't fit my media blast cabinet unless I pulled the wheel off or the tire off. I'm not sure. Notice I also pulled the weights off when the tire was balanced. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. Okay. So, there you go. Now I'm going to let this, let me take my mask off so you can hear me. Oh, take my glasses off. Okay. I'm sure my hair looks great, so I'm gonna put that back on. Anyway, so I'm gonna let this sit for about 24 hours. So once this sits for 24 hours and sets up, then I'll come back, uh, lightly scuff it with either some steel wool or bright scotch bright pad, and then I'll hit it uh, with some paint. I will probably use. Let's well, see if I have it over there. Let me go see if I have it over there. Got this. <coughs> Another VHT product. This is the roll bar and chassis paint. So it goes, it's, it's not super high temp, but it is high temp. It goes up to 250 degrees. Fahrenheit or 121 degrees Celsius um, and I've used this again also all into the car when I took uh, the exhaust and all that out I sprayed some of this in two places I'll also be spraying it up into the wheel well there and then probably coming back with some sort of undercoating on top of this uh, just to keep the rust from getting any worse so um, and then I'm going to use probably some of this in other areas that are hidden, even within the engine or passenger compartment of the car. Anyway, but I like this because it uh, doesn't require a primer, it includes a primer, so it's kind of an all in one setup. Uh, it's rust and corrosion resistance, so it's great for the frame, suspension, and all that stuff. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to use on these wheels. I've actually used it on a couple of the other wheels on the car already. I've done this to. I think two of them at least. So this would be two, so there's only one more I haven't done. I just don't remember which ones I did and which ones I didn't do. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna like I said, let this set for 24 hours, and then I'll come back, scuff it up, and paint it. So I know it's not perfect. If any of y'all are body people, you're probably cringing at the fact I didn't sand it smoother and do blah, blah, blah. Anyway, like said, these are hopefully just temporary. We'll see how, um, how long I can go without getting the other ones because there's a lot of other things I want to get first like the Borgensen power steering conversion kit the of course the floor pans got to get that done uh, first uh, all the weather stripping I need to replace God, there's still a lot of stuff to do but that's okay that's why they call it a project right okay so with that I'm going to go um, jump on the other wheel and get it sprayed down and then we'll see about doing the um, antenna. We'll actually include that in this video or not. We'll see. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say, go get on that other tire. And I'll see you a little bit later, however I do this.
whether it's a closeout or whether it's the pivot. I don't know. I don't ever plan these things. I, you probably should. But I wing it. I'm that kind of guy. I'm a wing it kind of guy. Um, okay, let me get back started and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Well, hello, folks. So uh, we're back uh, the next day. Uh, it let the rust converter uh, from VHT set for the 24 hours, like I had said. Uh, then I came back with that rolling chassis paint, also from VHT. They got the wheels all cleaned up and done. I think they look pretty darn good, you know, given the fact that uh, what I had to start with. So you can see that's the inside of the wheel that was on the front of the car. And then turn it around here. Show you like this, you can see how good this turned out. I mean, it's not perfect, the wheels are still pitted. And, you know, I probably could have done more to clean them up. But compared to what I had to start with, I think these turned out pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, on this one, if you want to, let me down. See the, so this is the spare tire. Right, so you can see, oops, get back here a little bit more. See, that's the inside of it. Yeah, there's some runs and stuff in there, but again, I'm not a professional car painter. Yes, I spent time in the Navy and they taught me how to paint a lot of things and swap decks, but uh, not so much this stuff. So anyway, I think it looks really, really good. Like I said, a whole lot better than I started. So I'm pretty happy with the results. I uh, hope you like them too. So we're going to go ahead and call this uh, a video. I did get the, whoops, let me sit down. Oh, I can see you. So, whew, I'm also tired of cutting the grass today, and it's quite hot here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. So, uh, a, little, a little tired. Anyway, um, got the antenna changed out on the on the Mustang too. So, brand new shiny antenna. And I'll insert some pictures of that here, or here, or here, or somewhere, uh, so you can see that. Uh, so, we got that done. Still have more work out on the wiring, still got to figure out why the, none of the lights, except the dome light, uh, are working. And I haven't tested the reverse lights because, well, there's no tire on the front. And I don't want to accidentally have the car in gear and it go rolling off a jack stand or something like that. So um, still got to check those things out. So if anybody has any ideas, because uh, I'm not an electrical guy, what if, if I'm right about the ground with the light switch or if you've got some other ideas why those wouldn't work with the switch turned on and the car running. Um, I said the dome light works. No radio to test in there. Anything like that. But if anybody's got any ideas about what might be the problem or something I could check, um, I said I don't really know. I've checked connectivity as I was doing the wire harness and putting on the connectors as best I could and it always seemed to have connectivity with my uh, uh, meter. So anyway, okay. so with that guys, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, make sure you leave a comment one way or the other. Uh, I said any, any advice or input you've got on the car, uh, the wiring or anything else, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. As I said, I'm, I'm a computer guy. That's what I do for a living. I do geographic information systems. I, I don't I'm not a mechanic uh, by any stretch, so any ideas would be greatly appreciated. Uh, subscribe to the channel, make sure you tell your friends about it. Uh, we're already up to almost 60 subscribers now, so that, that's not a huge sum, but hopefully we can make it grow. And Sorry, I got a bunch of magnolia leaves blowing around out there too. We had a big storm blow through yesterday afternoon, uh, blew a ton of leaves off our big magnolia tree that's in the front of our house. Uh, that I planted, well, my wife and I planted when we first moved in here uh, back in 98. So, anyway, with that, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.